Don Rickles is here tonight. Um, he will be up at uh, Lake Tahoe, not in Lake Tahoe, though possibly he may be in Lake Tahoe before his engagement is over from June 6th through the 20th. And several weeks ago, I went back to New York with the Friars Club where they uh, tendered him a dinner as the entertainer of the year. It was, it was quite a night. Would you welcome Mr. Warmth, Don Rickles. Yes, the jacket is shorter. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ed. Thank you. I spoke to your daughter, Linda. Yes. She wants the allowance increased. There's <laughs> a lovely daughter that goes to summer camp, and she's 42. <laughs> what is Can it? I just say something, and then we'll clear up the niceties. Is that the word? Niceties? That's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a word, yes. I think... Affiliates are just people, because they're just human beings, I think. But I must say, for you, for this mm -hmm. past week, and I watch it, and I'm a loyal fan because you gave me my first shot, and I tell you, to, uh, to a little bit of somebody knowing me, and this goes Fred McMahon, I'm sure he'll agree. I think Johnny Carson, without music, because I've hosted this show, and I think without music, and music is very important, it enlivens a show, and you and I just know my little experience sitting at the desk, you really know, you really have to know what the heck is going on. This man is an absolute genius. Really. Right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, that's, hey, that's, I did mine. That's very. <laughs> Dave Tebbett said, go out there and. Uh... <laughs> No, he did. That's he did. very sweet no, of you. That's did. very I, had, nice. I always come out like you do. When it comes to compliments, why is it we as performers always have that insecurity if you say something nice about somebody? A Tom Snyder from our, our local right. network, I said, Tom, I, I really enjoy the news, and you've gone through this with me. And he goes, oh, come on. And A lot of people accepts, find it difficult to accept compliments. Right. I think it, you find it more in our entertainment world, uh, more so than uh, Ed... That's huh? right, Don. You're what do you, right. What do you Everything you say is right. Why don't you go and uh, milk a Clydesdale for a half hour? <laughs> milk a Clydesdale? That's right. You don't have to play it back. They're annoying me. I happen to love Johnny, and you're turning on me. <laughs> you were the one that said to me, make a big fuss, let him feel that we love him. <laughs> no, Ed McMahon is a good guy, and he sits here every night on that couch, night after night, saying, oh, Johnny, you're marvelous. <laughs> And that goes out to uh, Marina Del Rey. <laughs> <laughs> you, honey, you start the boat. <laughs> Dave Tebbett's off camera, so I have to do this. Hi, Dave. <laughs> Dave Tebbett is a good guy. We all talk yes. about him. Uh, you got three sets, I got two. So you're, <laughs> you're leading two nothing going well, into the third quarter. Well, if, you, if you had a show that could stay on the air long enough, you'd get three. <laughs> <laughs> you know, now you, you, see, you folks, just haven't made it through the season yet. <laughs> <laughs> you got to finish the whole year before you get the set. Uh, well, you know, I live in New York, and you're in Nebraska with your mom and dad saying, I don't have any more money. <laughs> His mother and father are sitting on the porch in Nebraska going, why doesn't Johnny call? <laughs> and his father is not that way. Your dad is what, about 6'2"? No. Your father, try to think. Yes. <laughs> See, when you get that rich, you forget the family. <laughs> He's so busy in court all day long going, well, who wants the show? <laughs> you got a lovely wife now, I, Joanna, who I'm, I saw. I'm still trying I, to get the hassock from the last marriage. <laughs> Look. Now, nah, John, you've had, hey, not lucky in love, but now, thank God, you've met the woman of yes. your dreams. Really. Well. <laughs> and, uh... Hey, folks, we don't know. He just calls Ed and I and says, I met the woman of my dream. And for his success, we go, fine, John. Ned, you've had, you know, never lucky in love, but you're both handsome guys. I'm married nine years. I want to be with you guys so bad. <laughs> but you I got get a married. Jewish you wife didn't... that just lays in bed and goes, help me with the jewelry. <laughs> Don't write letters. You no. always you taught me that. Don't write letters. Those of you of the Jewish world, if you are a Jew, I am proud. They always say we're rich. That's baloney. We're human beings, all of us. And I wish peace, shalom, to all of us. Now, you didn't get married though until you were late in life. Well, I, you know, till I was what? Well, I mean, 
Most of us got married when we were in our 20s or something. He's but you... drinking this. <laughs> well, to the broads. <laughs> Why did, I was you, why did you wait? Did you, did you want to find the right no, girl? No, because I it? found myself in the bathroom in front of the mirror going... <laughs> I was 38 years old before well, I got married. Now, that's kind of long, isn't it? Hey, but, no, but you know, we discussed this before, and Ed, you know, well, you guys got married, your first marriages, and I'm not being sarcastic. You're 38. But I got news. When you're kids, you come out of college. I never went to college. I come up the hard way. You guys just skyrocketed. But uh, I, I, I came out of the neighborhood, and they went... What do you mean abroad? <laughs> and the broad was always like me, you know. But actually, what happened was, I met the most darling lady in life late night because I worked with strippers, exotic dancers, as we call them today. You know, with the cobra coming out of the basket, and the cobra went, I want to be with you. <laughs> and the broad went, challenge me, challenge me. It's a long story. I was on the road a lot. <laughs> laying in bed, watching a moth die on the land, you know. <laughs> And when you get like that, you find yourself on a street corner going, Miss. <laughs> and then I met my wife, who said, I'm not some perverted jerk, I'm a person. <laughs> and now she's sitting at home, uh, just laying there going, He's so rich. He's so rich. And my kid's skipping through the house going, Make more gold, mommy, make more gold. See, they always say Jewish people have a lot of money. You're an Irish guy, right? That's right. Well, you never would have money because you're too busy spending it on beer. <laughs> You just sit around the house in your bathroom and go, oh. <laughs> Not really. Now, the Irish people are great. I'll tell you, the night... We need the day, Irish, don't we? Huh? We do. Oh, you're going to lead me into Chazarai. <laughs> Chazarai means my act. I will not do my act. I am not going to go into my act, you dumbbell from Nebraska. I hope you wind up in the wheat field with fungus on your elbow. <laughs> I made it the elbow. <laughs> No, John, I tell you, this is an exciting night. All these affiliate... I was at the affiliate dinner last night, oh, which you couldn't make. You were up in uh, Las Vegas at the Ellen King Tennis That's Tournament, right. and you said, I don't want to be there. I want to play tennis. Uh, no, 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 no. When you're that rich, folks, he's right, you're wrong. I'm just a little guy trying to skyrocket. Ed was right. there, right? right? I was there. You didn't know about it, but you were there. <laughs> I didn't know about it either. That's true. We had a little you man. You weren't out uh, drinking last night. You yes. yes. Uh, last night, we busted out. I told Ed. We, we took a table in the back. Joe Scandori, my manager, is not here tonight. There's a holdup in the Bronx. <laughs> uh, but, uh... <laughs> That's Shirley Wood from your staff. Your broom broke, you know. <laughs> but Shirley, I love. And uh, what happened was that we, we stood in the back, and there was a little beautiful man. His name is George. A little Puerto Rican man. And most guys in our world, and you say ethnic backgrounds, and we all come from a certain world, and George was a little beautiful Puerto Rican man. And he came to me and said, Mr. Rico, you want to have drink? I bring you drinks. And it was buffet. Uh, Dave Tebbett figured this out. It was buffet for 7,000 people <laughs> from an affiliate that were going, no! Sit down dinner. And huh? Don, Don Durgan, one of the big executives, said, Is there some sort of luau going on? <laughs> and Bob Howard, the new president, was going, It's a party! <laughs> <laughs> The new president, uh, I met him. He was yeah. beautiful. I mean that. You don't see a guy with a cowboy hat and a cap pistol <laughs> standing in the reception line going, bang, bang, you're dead. Anyway, <laughs> but you go along with it when you need work. That's right. <laughs> you're a millionaire. You just phone your attorney and say, I'm moody. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I lost my thought. I don't know what I was talking about. The little Puerto Rican friend. Oh, yeah. So yeah. this wonderful man, George, he said to me, and I love the way they talk. And I say this to my Puerto Rican, my Cuban friends, God bless you, you're beautiful people. And we all have to laugh at ourselves, which I preach in whatever I do. And the great thing was he came over and I said, George, I don't like buffets. The reason I don't like buffets is because I came from New York and my whole life was standing in line in Bigfoot saying, eggs. Eggs, and the guy went, the way your tongue for crying aloud. The way your tongue was busy. And, and, and always the black man was in the back going, I got to wash all these dishes. I got to buff my neck wiping all these dishes. All these dishes. And the Jewish guy was at the table going, 
And the Pollock goes, I'll, I'll wash the dishes. <laughs> and the Irish guy was going, is there a party? <laughs> Did I cover anybody? Oh, the Chinese. Chinese. Who was that? Who was that? Who was that? <laughs> no. So, uh... I wish you'd do your act, though. No. <laughs> I'm gonna, I kind of miss that. But anyway. But anyway, folks. Uh, <laughs> so the point is, I said to George, I said, here's ten dollars. I swear to God, John. I said, here's five dollars. Because buffets, I don't know, you know, your whole life, not that I'm a snob, I certainly am not. I, I came from the street of New York. I came up the hard way. I, well, middle class people. I didn't come up the hard way. As you, you came from a middle class family. Did you come from a middle class yes, family? Yes, middle class. Middle class, good. No, no, it's all settled. Mm-hmm. It's a middle class group. It's all middle class. No. <laughs> all middle class. Yeah. No, no. So, uh, came from a middle income family. Pardon me? Came from a middle income family. Middle income family. Where'd you come from? But they were high class. But they were high There's class. a difference. There's a difference. There is. What do you think? Whatever he thinks is best. <laughs> Oh, boy, you're so... You don't have the guts. Tell him. Tell him you're fed up and you're going to grab him by the legs and make a wish. <laughs> he loves you, Johnny. I always loved you. I don't care what you say. You're the best talk show guy in the world. You give me a break. All right. But I'll tell you this, John. One thing, remember. No matter how big you get, these are the affiliates. These are the people that made you a multimillionaire. <laughs> love thy neighbor as thy love thyself. You are not of my faith. But I bless you. Hashem, Achoim, Panoi, Panoi, Panoi. Now made you a helicopter. <laughs> Read the commercial. For a moment, I thought I was, for a moment, I thought I was going to have to have the operation. <laughs> <laughs> At my age, that is smart. <laughs> you do what Bob Newhart does. Take a glass of scotch and go... Well, we'll take a short break here, but we're coming right You back. better believe it, Hutch. Like Good shot of your back, David. <laughs> <laughs> nice nice left shoulder. The suit's hanging just a little bit. You have that taken in. Hey, you know, the public uh, really doesn't know, because we've been kidding around. We as performers, uh, and you, John, are being with this network so many years and for many, many more to come, because nobody can uh, do what you do. But the whole punchline is Dave Tebbett is a guy that uh, every actor has admired and loved, and other networks that you, you I must say, uh, CBS has a, has Bob Wood, uh, ABC, and Marty Stargo, but I got news. Dave is the kind of guy that uh, takes you into his arms and says, hey, win, lose, or draw, I'm your friend, and when you fail, he sends you a gift, and that's unusual. And I tell you, David Tebbett, to all of you, it's just my own feeling, and my wife and I, uh, you're a beautiful man. Period. I, I, I buy that. And Johnny feels the same I way, so does it. I understand you signed, you signed this thing with the, the, the network? That's why I made that speech. Yeah. It's, uh, not, it's our turn now, huh? <laughs> yeah. No, uh, NBC has given me another chance, and I uh, just hope I get lucky, as you said. And you and I have talked about things that uh, I just hope that they can capture what Don Rickles is, and I really don't know what that is, but maybe someday I'll get lucky. Oh, it'll, it'll happen. Thanks, John. <laughs> My next guest... <laughs> No, we have to move along, because you know we Fine, whatever you say, John. We have, um... By the way, I just got a call. She left, the wife. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be in court again with the same lawyer going, We won't pay that! <laughs> and Ed McMahon's going, I'll testify to whatever you want. <laughs> Michael Lynn, as you know, is a fine That's actor. Sure. He's got a new show, a new NBC series called Little House on the Prairie, which will start in September. Would you welcome Michael Lynn? Hi. Yeah. Last time you were here, you were talking about the uh, the special. It was that time. It was just a, a special little house on the prairie, and it did so well. I understand you're going on now as a. That's right. We're back series, on the air with a with another series. Are you going to direct them too? Do you directed that last one? Did you or? Yes, I directed the the two hour pilot. I'll do probably uh, four out of the first thirteen, yeah. and then uh, hopefully I'll do a few more because we're picked up. Can you be objective as a director when, you, when you're in the scene yourself? Can you step out and go back and say, hey, now I'm looking at Mike Lynn and I'm the director? Yes. Oh. Uh, <laughs> okay. Mike can do that. Not a baby. Not takes, a baby Mike. Takes care of that question. Just zap it right in there, Mike. A lot of actors can't. They say, uh, <laughs> most, most actors, they say, make not good directors because they, they can't see the forest for the trees or the trees for the forest. It's one of those two. <laughs> no, I think, I think for, for an actor, once you left the mirror, you're okay. Let the honey sick from the drip, but don't let the bird die. 
Let the honey sip from the tree. You sound like David Carradine. Well, I don't food. know. You two people are talking, and Ed is standing there going, that's true. That's definitely true. <laughs> I sure love you and Johnny Belinda. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at them um, zing thing. <laughs> don't turn on me. I love you. We're two Jews on a hike. <laughs> Of my people. Can you imagine if they played it legitimate? Have the men move it out. <laughs> I you, love you, him. You, this you man. think a Gentile owns a big ranch like the Ponderosa? <laughs> <laughs> you... Carson lays back when he thinks it's trouble. <laughs> He's my friend. He and I, we I came. Know I know you told that. me so many times. Jeez. <laughs> Did you ever work at anything together? Don and I? No, you and that uh, set over there. <laughs> no, we've been together on several occasions. Right, we have. Uh, but I've never had anything to do. Well, he's a very actor. volatile human being. As an actor. He, yes. But he went, no, not as an actor. He's we a were. fine director. He really is. I loved him. But he, uh, he went to drama school. Did you know that? Who did? The television set over there. <laughs> We're talking about Don, what, Don, what happens is this is uh, him, Rickles, went to... Uh, the, what oh, Don! Uh, oh, well. I went to the American Academy of Dramatic Arts, which that and two cookies wins me a trip to Disneyland. <laughs> he's a hell of an actor. I think he's a fine actor. I don't know if for the people out there who have seen Don in, in dramatic performance, he's a fine actor. Well, thank you, Michael. Now, can tell from the reaction that people feel the same way. Yeah. <laughs> See, when I do you speak, I got something I to say. That, you had a big following. What the... <laughs> <laughs> little coffee to relax, John. <laughs> you're awfully quiet tonight, I'll say that. Well, that's why... I, uh, no, with, well, you're talking, though. This is your spot. I'm here with Ed trying to well, figure out... I was out... talking to John. Oh. <laughs> did, you, did you attend an, an acting school? Yes, I was... Uh, I went to a dramatic school at Warner Brothers Studios. Uh, it was a free school. They didn't pay the actors. Right. And for a long time, they, they worked that way. Uh, <laughs> and that school was dissolved at a certain point when... Uh, this is many years ago, like 20 years, when, when Jack Warner found out they had it. Uh, <laughs> he, he came up one day and said, what is that? And I didn't the coach know said, it's a dramatic school. <laughs> and he said, it's closed. And that was the end of it. I didn't know that you were... Yeah. Uh, I was washing the executive's cars. That's how I got on the lot. <laughs> I drove the cars in, and I went to dramatic school there for about four months. It was a good school. But they, you didn't get... You had to pay for that, or what? No, no. They didn't pay me. I didn't pay them. It was a, just a freebie thing. And What was your first part? First part that I ever did... Tell the uh, truth. I saw it, too. For, for money? Yeah. The thing with the ape, when you played the... Gr you the, know. Ape, the ape? No, no, with the head. You were a vampire. What? No, no. I was a werewolf. That's... Don't you love dogs? <laughs> I was I tell him about that. I was I was a teenage werewolf. Was my first. Uh... I was a teenage werewolf. No, I was. No, I know. I was. <laughs> See, that was a. <laughs> well, the... It's a fourteen years world. on the ranch <laughs> didn't hurt the old brain. I want to tell you. <laughs> well, Jim Arness once was in uh, what was the creature from the Black Lagoon? No, he was in the thing. Uh, well, that's close. The thing. Close. Right. The thing. And he had the big... A uh, giant frozen asparagus. <laughs> <laughs> Marvelous. <laughs> Why don't you shut up, Johnny, and get on with it? Okay, let's, let's, let's uh, do this first. <laughs> I hope your pencil gets a rupture. <clears throat> How can a pencil get a rupture? I don't know, but we're trying to keep it rolling. Okay. <laughs> we'll take a small break here. And we'll come, we'll come right play. back. Yeah. We're back. My guests are Don Rickles and Mike Lennon. You know, I didn't know that about that. I was a teenage werewolf. I really, really didn't. Do you ever look back on that and say, uh, I suppose when you're young and you're in the acting business, you take what is available if you want to get into it, right? Oh, I don't make excuses for films I make. Oh, I'm not making John. excuses for it. I thought it was a very good horror picture. I happen to like horror films. Yeah. And I thought I was marvelous. I won an award from the SPCA. <laughs> I think it was a worthwhile film. Do you remember what you got paid for that? Uh, yes, I had, uh, I got $600 and 42 pounds of raw hamburger. <laughs> what happened after I was a teenage werewolf? After I was a teenage werewolf, I had, uh, one of the pluses from it, uh, I had complete respect from my younger children. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, I went on from there to, to bigger and better things. Uh, I stopped biting friends, and uh, I did. Uh, I played the albino in Guns of the Laker. Uh, <laughs> and <laughs> it's really killing you, huh? Uh, well, what's the first club you ever played? What was the name of the very first pay date? The Albino Club. No. <laughs> what was the name of the place? I, I, I tell you the truth, uh, to the best of my recollection, the, the club that we both know that like, can bring you some recognition was Murray Franklin's in Miami Beach. Yeah. And then the Elegant in Brooklyn. For yeah, but you Kenner. played little joints before that. No, I used you? to see you all the time at uh, Slate's. Right, right. Well, yeah, but that was late in life. I was doing good then. I was getting $350 a week, and Henry was taking 350 back. <laughs> it was a long story. We don't want to go into my life. Just roll along about your albino. <laughs> <laughs> I'll talk to Marine Raiders. <laughs> you mean came in over Guam low, eh? <laughs> don't suck me into his cockamamie trick or treat movie. I did pictures with Frankie Avalon and saying, the beach ball is missing. <laughs> That's right, you were in Beach Blanket Bingo. How do you get your finger out of you, Uncle Sam? <laughs> I know what I was in. Dumbbell, is this what, a test? What, when what? you hit a bell, go to geography. <laughs> Look at that. Two affiliates went, come on, Harold, the bell rang. <laughs> what was the picture you made with Frankie Avalon? I did a bikini beach party with Annette Funicello, who was not here tonight. She's pumping up beach balls. Uh... Oh, Jack Gilardi. I did. I don't know. I did a lot of those pictures. Hey, it's not my life, dumbbell. I know. Get that. Ralph Edwards. Say something, Ed. Do your trick. You're rolling, Don. You're do rolling. what you do best, Ed. The Marine Raiders fight song. Marine Raiders. Marine Raiders. Oh. <laughs> Man. It's a long night. Jump in, Mike. I'll, I'll make you feel relaxed. <laughs> But you I never liked... I you either, Don. <laughs> but you never liked horses, did you? Yeah, I don't mind horses. Oh, Lauren, Lauren somebody didn't like horses. Well, Lauren didn't like horses. That was the guy. Lauren <clears> Green, <throat> right? Baby, the Canadian Mountie. The Canadian Mountie, right. Never liked horses. Well, the, the only problem with the horses is that, that four of us mounting together is a difficult proposition. <laughs> that is not easy. <laughs> I found that out at a party I was at one night. <laughs> we had this big stallion. It was fantastic. <laughs> That was before I, the, the missus would always say, I don't understand that. That's why she's in a room with a rubber duck. And happy. <laughs> you just wait long enough, there's a biggie along the way somewhere. Do we have okay, to have the band play a number. No. <laughs> What's the now look at this, the affiliates went, the band's here? <laughs> when you made some real money. You know, when you got on Bonanza and you started to get... What's the first thing you wanted to buy that you never could afford? The first thing I wanted to buy... Uh, yeah, when you finally got some money, you say, hey, I'm going to... A long salami. <laughs> no, to, no, I'm going to tell you, you may think that's a very funny joke. I do. If you come from a... <clears throat> if, there, there are two things when you're a kid, if you've had a very thin slice of salami that you remember. That's true. And that is how dynamite salami is. And it's very expensive. When you come from a family that doesn't have a lot of bucks... A salami is expensive. And the first thing I wanted to have was a long salami and olives with pimentos. Kosher. Kosher. Because right. they're expensive, too. And I love just... I have a very big salami in my closet. Because <laughs> I have very little clothes, so... We, have, we all have our, uh, our... Yeah, and also you can Our problems, up. Mike. Are you, <laughs> sure you, want, you sure you want to go into this in the detail? Pardon me? I mean, we all have our little problems. I mean, do you want to... Yes, I'll go into it. Huh? Uh, it's delicious, and also it helps you get your boots on. You slide it in there a little I, I uh, slick on the leather. Salami and, and olives. I thought you wouldn't want but you were serious. Oh, I'm very serious. He was, because, like saving, right? Uh, isn't that the truth? Like, you think about the days, like, when you don't have a buck, and you, you, we all save something in our life, saying, hey, if things don't go right, is that pretty much the story? No, I just happen to love salami and couldn't afford it. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you for that interpretation, Don. <laughs> and now back to John Chancellor in New York. <laughs> <laughs> we have, we're going to take a little break here? Or do we, we'll do that. And then uh, Freddie Prinze is with us tonight. He's got a new show coming up uh, with, I think, with Jack Albertson on NBC called Chico and Sonny. And 19 years old, and I wish him every success. Very That's terrific. funny young man. I don't believe you. And uh, we'll do this first. He's ready. If you want that... Oil-free look all day. 
Folks, Here's now, you know he's a dumbbell. Folks. Natural you know Wonder Oil Free Makeup from Revlon. Skip in the park, John.
Chào các mọi người và hôm nay bên em lại về một chiếc xe Vios E số tự động sản xuất 2020 xe phiên bản màu vàng cát và đã qua mưa lũ vì vậy giá nó rất là rẻ thôi hơn 300 củ khoai tuy nhiên là trước khi báo giá thì em sẽ quay tổng thể chiếc xe để cho mọi người định hình được là chiếc xe đang hiện tại tình trạng nó như thế nào đây tổng thể chiếc xe thì các bạn có thể thấy là xe thì nội nội thất của nó thì ngoại thất của nó nhìn rất là đẹp Tí em quay cả nội thất và máy móc cho mọi người xem Đèn trước thì cũng rất là sáng Tuy đã qua mùa nũ nhưng mà các bạn có thể nhìn thấy rằng là Xe còn rất là đẹp Nốt la răng rất là mới Tay nắm cửa mạng cà rô Xin nhan tích hợp ở gương Đấy Sơn si rất là ok Con này chỉ bị qua mùa nũ thôi Nó bị phần uh, Nội thất nó bị phần uh, máy Thế đâu thì Mọi thứ của em nó rất là ok Biểu tượng Toyota là biểu tượng đáng tiền 
rất là bền bỉ và tiết kiệm nhiên liệu nhé vay ớt đây bây giờ em sẽ quay nội thất cho mọi người cùng xem mọi người đến trực tiếp xem xe đi thử như là vét máy móc mang thợ thời đến tết còn em đây em chỉ quay qua vì nó quá rất nhiều xe đây nội thất bên hàng ghế trước này các bạn có thể thấy rằng vô lăng được bọc ra ghế này mọi thứ của em nó rất là mới cần số kiểu dích dắt đúng kiểu toyota nội thất thì màu kem hàng ghế sau thì cũng ra ghế còn rất là đẹp mới bên em đã xử lý và đã lót thảm ở sàn nói chung là không ai có thể nhận ra là nó có vấn đề gì xe rất là ok đấy tay nắm cửa mà cửa rô nói chung là xe sơn si mọi thứ của em nó rất là ok đấy đây các bạn có thể thấy rằng là trước này cũng rất là đẹp đèn rất là sáng nhá đời mới xe rất là đẹp bốn bánh bs không có gì phải bàn cả nói chung là tiền ít chúng ta mua nên mua những con xe lỗi đấy đi nói chung là sự em bên em xử lý rồi chẳng qua là mọi người nhiều khi là không tin tưởng thôi vai ướt e đèn hậu rất là đẹp đèn hậu bây giờ làm rất là dài đẹp đấy tổng thể chiếc xe cũng rất là ok hơn 300 củ khoai có chiếc xe này thì tội bận tội gì mà phải mua đắt xe 2020 này rất là mới chẳng qua bây giờ thì mùa nũ thì là thành ra là xe nó bị bơi rất là nhiều các bạn cứ chủ động đến gọi trực tiếp cho em nếu bên em mà chưa ghim gì là vẫn còn nếu bên em ghim đã bán thì là xe đã bán nhá em đăng mà em chưa ghim gì ở phần bình luận là xe vẫn còn đấy nói chung là quay rất là chi tiết rồi mọi người có đi phải đi trực tiếp chứ được quay như này thì nhiều khi có những vết rứt sức răm quay camera thì nó không thể chuẩn được đấy và một chiếc phai ớt e số tự động sản xuất 2020 đang được bên em bán là 315 triệu cho một chiếc đã qua mùa nũ nhá xe đã bơi người ta bị biết bơi rồi đấy còn các bạn cứ chủ động liên hệ số điện thoại em để trên góc màn hình còn nếu mà bên em mà ghim đã bán thì các bạn đừng hỏi nhiều nhiều một xe ghim đã bán rồi nhưng mà vẫn rất nhiều người gọi và thứ hai là bên em thì các dòng xe các dòng xe lỗi vì vậy là bọn em chỉ báo đời báo giá chủ yếu thôi còn đâu thì các bạn muốn xem thì cứ đến trực tiếp xem chứ thời gian đâu còn mở máy lại tiếp xem tiếp đi tiếp đường dài nữa ai mua lại sớm xin chào mọi người